Hello and welcome to video number six. In this specific video, you're going to learn how to make a payment link and add it to the sales page. Okay, so now what we need to do is simply go to our product and click on buy buttons. Now, keep in mind that you must use one of their buy buttons, otherwise your stats are not going to be tracked. And you can see that notice here. So if you want to use your own buy button, like in this case, we have our own buy button here, we're going to have to replace that if we want to use the stats. It's a trade-off, but it's definitely a good trade-off because we definitely want to track our statistics. So go ahead and choose a button, and they've got many, many different buttons, as you can see. I think I'm going to stick with this button here. So basically highlight this, right click, click on copy, and then what I want to do is simply go back here and open this index.html file, or in other words, my sales page in Composer. So we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where my payment button is right now and just click on it and click delete. And what I want to do is just enter some sort of token like 123, 123, something that you know it does not exist on the sales page. Uh, because after you do this, you're going to need to click on source. And you're going to notice that you, this is probably going to freak you out, but don't get freaked out yet because even though this is code that you may not understand, all you have to do is click on edit and find one two three one two three and simply highlight this right click paste click on save and there we go that's it so I just showed you a little trick there so you don't need to know HTML or any type of web editing code simply use that trick to enter the buy button and click exit make sure you save and there we go so as you can see not very hard at all to get the buy button and add it to your sales page now in the next video we're gonna upload these files to your website